Hello boys and girls. Today's story is going to be Clark the Shark, written by Bruce Hale, illustrated by Guy Francis. Remember, written by is the author. He's the one that writes the story and the illustrator is the one who draws the pictures. Here we go. Clark the Shark. In all the wide blue seas, in all the wild blue world, the top school for fish was Theodore Roosterfish Elementary. And all the fish at Theodore Roosterfish, the biggest and the strongest was Clark the Shark. Look how big he was compared to all the little fish. Clark loved school and he loved his teachers, Mrs. Inky Dink. He loved to play upsy downsies and spin a jig with his friends. Clark loved his life. He's having a lot of fun, but look, I don't think his friends are having too much fun. School is awesome, shouted Clark the Shark. Less shouting, more reading, said Mrs. Inky Dink. Lunchtime is sweet, yelled Clark the Shark. Munch your own lunch, said his best friend, Joey Mackerel. Recess rocks, bellowed Clark the Shark. You are playing rough, Clark, cried the other kids. Yes, Clark loved his life with all of his sharky heart, but he loved everything way too much. He was too loud, he was too wild, he was just too much shark for the other fish to handle. After a while, no one would play with Clark. No one ate lunch with him. No one sat with him at circle time. Even his best friend, Joey Mackerel said, cool your jets, Clark. You're making me crazy. Oh, look at his face. Feeling sad. One day, Clark asked Mrs. Inky Dink, What's wrong with everybody? Mrs. Inky Dink patted his fin. Clark, sometimes you play too hard. You munch too hard and gosh, you help too hard. But life is so exciting, said Clark. There's a time and place for everything, said Mink Mrs. Inky Dink. And sometimes the rule is stay cool. And here she wrote on the chalkboard, stay cool. At recess, Clark tried to stay cool, but he pushed the swing with too much zing. Sorry, said Clark the shark, I forgot. Yikes, cried Joey Mackerel. At lunch, Clark tried to stay cool, but everything smelled so good that he munched a bunch of lunches. Sorry, said Clark, I forgot. Oh, we're starving, said his friends. He's trying, but it's too hard. In class, Clark tried to stay cool, but a good book got him all shook up. Now, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink, this isn't the time or the place. Tell me, what's the rule? Stay cool, said Clark. Hey, that rhymes, he said. Then Clark got a big idea in his sharky head. Maybe if I make a rhyme, I'll remember every time, he thought. The next day, he put his plan to work. In class, when lessons got exciting, Clark wanted to bounce up out of his seat. Instead, he told himself, when teacher's talking, don't go walking. And what do you know? It worked! Attaboy, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink. Clark smiled. Lessons are fun. At lunch, everything smelled so yummy. When Clark wanted to eat and eat and never stop, he told himself, only munch on your own lunch. And it worked again. Way to go, Clark, said his friends. Clark grinned. Lunch is fun. At playtime, Clark told himself, 
easy does it, that's the way. Then my friends will let me play. At playtime was, and playtime was fun. Once more, Clark loved his life. But then a shadow fell across the playground, a ginormous shadow with tentacles galore. It's a new kid and he looks scary, cried Joey Mackerel. Swim for your lives! The squid squashed the slide and he snapped off the swings. Oops, my bad, said the new kid. Uh-oh, he's having the same problem as Clark the Shark. Wait, said Clark, he just wants to play. Let's find a way. And he swam at the new kid with all his might. Clark played harder than he ever had before, upsy downsies and spin a jig. Why, he even made a new game, Twail Wumpa Lumpus. Wow, that was fun, said the new kid breathlessly, and he settled down. If you want to come to school, you've got to stay cool, said Clark. That's right, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink, and thanks for taking care of our new classmate, Sid the Squid. Hooray for Clark the Shark, everyone cheered. That night, Clark mother asked, what did you learn at school, dear? There's a time and place for everything, Clark said. Sometimes you stay cool. But sometimes a shark's got to do what a shark's got to do. And we say the end.